Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Marcy. If you're new here, if you are a returning subscriber, I thank you for coming back as well, showing your girl some love, coming to check me out. And maybe throughout my collection, you'll be able to choose a fragrance that you love or that you may love to get someone else. Follow me on Instagram also. It's Marcmello, M-A-R-C-E-M-E-L-L-0-W, where we have lots of fun. You know, you can go through my travel content, use that as your next inspiration for your travel destination. Today I'm going to come to you with like a little bit of a short video but I wanted to discuss this fragrance because it to me it's a gourmand bomb. This is the sweetest fragrance I have in my collection. I have Lara, I have Delina exclusive, I have like tons and tons of Juicy Couture, um, tons of sweet fragrances, um, you know Christian Dior, poison, all those things that people are considering gourmands or like the sweetest fragrances that they have. But I ordered this one here. And to me, this is a very sweet gourmand, a very sweet, succulent, juicy, seductive, mischievous, they called it, on Fragrantica type fragrance, but it's delicious at the same time. So we're going to be discussing uh, very briefly the house of uh, Michael Malau, um, and this is Atara. He also has some other fragrances that I'll let you guys know about down at the bottom that I'm very interested in. So without further ado, let's get into this uh, Atara. So the box is beautiful. It's stunning. It's very, uh, uh, what is it? Pleasingly aesthetic. You know, I love the design. It basically draws you into what the fragrances possibly smells like. And yes, y'all, it's it's a bomb. It's a blackberry, juicy, it's very juicy, aromatic, and it's, it's a blackberry bomb. It's a berry bomb. And um, I love it. And let me tell you why I love it. So this fragrance was launched in uh, 2019. Um, the, it's it's an inspired fragrance, um, inspired by London, but they're actually based in Columbus, Ohio. So it's not, it's, they're not in London, okay guys? Um, this is actually a gourmand-based perfumery. And um, in this one, in Atara, the main accords, um, We'll just read the main accords and then we'll get into the notes first. So the main accords, it's fruity, sweet, vanilla, patchouli, woody. Um, it's aromatic, aquatic, warm, spicy, ambery, fresh, and balsamic. Um, like I said, it's seductive. It's very exquisite, y'all. Very exquisite. Um, to me, this is a all-year-round fragrance. Um, summer, spring, winter, fall. It seems like it will just, it goes with a bit of everything. Um, it's very sophisticated. It leans a little more feminine to me because it's it's very sweet. It's not headache inducing or sickly sweet, uh, but the blackberries in here, it's like a fruity tart, um, almost like gives you like a little bit of Delina vibes, but not rose, but blackberry because it has that rhubarb tartness. This doesn't have rhubarb in it, but let's get into the notes right now. So the notes in here, they're very simple. It's blackberry, um, you have black currant, you have pear, tonka bean praline patchouli and vanilla so that sounds like a lot of sweetness y'all right and it definitely is so let's get into okay i'll just open up so you guys can see what the inside of the box looks like very nice box beautiful you know sometimes you want to showcase all your boxes but it's not possible so it's just it's housed in here very simple but i love the outside and the design of the box so I love the bottle as well. The bottle is glass. Look at that, stunning. Oh, let me wipe it off a little bit. Beautiful bottle, right? It's clear. I like the fact that it's clear. It's translucent. You can see inside. You can look at the juice. I've already put a dent in it, a dent in it you know? Some, I've worn it multiple times, like three or four times. Um, the back of it, you know, it, you can just basically see through the front from the back. But the design is beautiful. It has a tara on both sides. Um, it doesn't have anything around the stem of the fragrance. But uh, this is the cap. The cap is actually wood. I thought that was a very uh, different take. Instead of giving us like a glass cap or a plastic cap, it's actually wood. It makes it look a little, um, you know, um, what, is, what do you call it? Not masculine, but it makes it... You know, it just gives it a more broader feel and a look, 
you know, and it doesn't look so basic. So um, that's the bottle. Let's go ahead and spray this. This is good. So if you like any type of blackberry, black currant, pear, this is a very sweet balm. If you're a gourmand head, this is for you right here. And it's very reasonable, y'all. I think I got it for like $50 on FragranceNet and they don't have very many. So go over there and, you know, get it while you can. I don't know how much it is if you order from the house though. So let's go ahead and get into the automizer. This has amazing performance, okay? So immediately you smell the black currant. You smell the black currant, the pear, the um, all the way through, you know, the entire time. When I tell you this is a this is a performance beast, this lasts on the skin and on the clothes at least eight to ten hours, y'all. No joke. I sprayed it four times. I think four should be the max that you spray it because the performance is great. If you spray it too much, it might, I don't know, if it, it's because it's sweet. So don't spray it. Don't overspray this. This is one perfume that I will definitely not overspray, okay? So in the opening, you get the black currant. I don't even have to smell the stick too close. You get the pear. You get a little bit. You get the patchouli. You get a little bit of the praline. But the praline comes more, and the vanilla comes more in the dry down about an hour or two later. Um, you start to get, you still get the pear black currant, but then you get more of the vanilla and the praline and the patchouli more in the dry down. There's really not a lot to say about this, but this is a, a very good fragrance, especially if you like sweet and if you love gourmands. This is an amazing fragrance. To me, it leaves a little more feminine uh, because of all of the sweetness inside, but it can definitely, I think it's listed as feminine on uh, Fragrantica, but it can definitely be for a man as well. You know, men like to smell sweet. I love to smell sweet on my men, you know, my men, my men, you mean. <laughs> But yeah, this is good. They also have um, another one, uh, which is, they're, uh, they're both listed for women. So they both came out in 2019. Um, I'm also waiting for, I think it's called Joy De Ve or Joy De Ve. Um, and that one it has lotus, mandarin, apple blossom, violet, magnolia, and jasmine. And there's also one that I'm looking for, but I can't seem to find. And that one's called Electric Heart. Now, in Electric Heart, because I love the notes of freesia, you have freesia, blooming jasmine, wild orchid. You have rose, musk, amber, and you have patchouli. They all, all the fragrances, like I said, they're pretty much gourmand based. So if you are a gourmand head and you like sweet, sweet, sweetness, then you might want to look up uh, Michael Malal London, like I said, which is based in Columbus, Ohio. Or if you live in Columbus, Ohio, go to the store. How lucky are you? So, um, you know, it's an amazing fragrance, y'all. And the performance is a beast. So this is definitely addictive. When I sprayed this on the several times that I did wear it, I just kept smelling my arm like over and over and over again. And I really didn't have to get as close to my hand or my arm. I was just testing it out pretty much, but I could still smell it. The sillage is good. The longevity is good. The projection's good. This is good, guys. For the price, this has amazing performance and it's an amazing fragrance for the price. This almost performs like a niche fragrance. It doesn't perform like a designer. It doesn't smell like a designer. It smells like a niche gourmand fragrance. So if you're interested and you love the, the notes of like blackberry, blackcurrant, um, like a deep, juicy, you know, um, there's this, um, this um, place that you can order fruit from. I want to say hair. It's not hair. It's, but there's a company that you can order fruit from and they do it like, um, it's all seasonal and it comes in this little green box and the pears are wrapped in. I don't know why I forget them because I order them every year. Sometimes they have them at Trader Joe's, but I love, love, love their pears. Um, this pear, when you bite into that pear, it's so juicy. The skin is so soft. There's a little bit of uh, like a sour, like a tartness but the pear is very ripened and juicy and like a real juicy blackberry that's sweet with a little bit of sour tartness at the same time. Uh, this right here, that's what this smells like. Um, if anybody know 
that I can't remember it, the name of the company that you can order fruit from. Um, and they mail it to you in this beautiful green box, all wrapped up in bows, like everything. I think you can order like nuts and all kinds of um, things you can place on a like charcuterie board. You can order that kind of stuff from them. Um, let me know down in the comments. Maybe I'll remember in just a moment or I'll just Google it. Uh, but I love, love, love their amazing pears. Um, and it, the pear in this one reminds me of that because it's so juicy and aquatic and watery. This is a very watery, um, juicy fragrance, but deep and dark because of the black currant and the blackberry and light and airy because of the juicy pear at the same time. So anyway, enough because my mouth is watering right now as I speak about this fragrance. You know, it's, it's just that good, y'all. So get your hands on uh, Michael Malo London and it's Atara. And, you know, let me know what you think down in the comments once you get the fragrance. And uh, if you're going to do a review on it, let me know as well. You know, I'll be checking. I try to subscribe to all my subscribers, especially if you are um, YouTubing about fragrances and other, you know, things, lifestyle things as well. So let me know what you think. Or if, if you even have it, let me know what you think. All right. Have an amazing day, you all. You know, go out there, spread amazing siyash, love, be a blessing to one another. And, you know, have a great weekend. Bye-bye.